Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you how to use the Steam client under Wine and especially how to use the store page and how to install free-to-play games and demos, all right? There are a lot of free-to-play games and demos to try out. So if you have like a tiny library, there are still a lot of stuff to try out. Really many, many, many games, hundreds of games to try out. All right, when doing that, when doing this video, I'm doing this because currently, also on Wine 2.13, the Steam Store page works, but it's kind of broken, so you have no fonts, all right? So you cannot see what's, you, you cannot read, you know, there are no fonts. This maybe can be fixed quite easily with a patch, something like that. But anyway, the store works anyway, so you are able to to install everything without problems. And by the way, you can also install a game that is in your library from the command line by using the uh, app launch option. All right. I already showed this in my how to use wine videos tutorial. OK, so maybe I'm going to leave the link in the description. So from the command line, you can just launch Steam and also launch the installation straight just from one command without clicking there with the mouse and here. So, right now I'm going to show you how to use the store, as I said. But first, it's better if you go, if you use your browser and you go to the Steam uh, homepage, so store.steampowered, and you learn how the actually store works. So right here, you want to go games, and you want to go to what's being played, to have some games. By the way, you can also check the popular game tags such as uh, multiplayer or single player action, FPS, strategy, etc. You know, if you want to, to search for certain uh, demo or free to play kind of kind the genre, you know, of these games. All right, here I want to go browse all time most popular and then I want to select demos here for the demos. And here, as you can see, there are just tons of demo to try out. I want to select release date. OK. And by doing so, here you will find, uh, it's most likely that you will find some DirectX 11 games to try out the new, uh, how Wine is working with DirectX 11, you know, some progress, if something new is happening. And here, for example, I can tell you some games that you can try that I did already some video on my YouTube channel. The Surge here is working, low FPS with Mesa, but it's working. Then, what else? Yeah, nothing else I tried actually looks like yeah and by the way some of these are also DirectX 9 games you know Hellpoint I tried out there is also the demo for Linux I tried out for with wine it's working just missing some textures but anyway the most interesting stuff in here in my opinion are at the end okay and here you have just Tons of demos about some really great games. Okay, Half-Life, for example. There is not the Linux version of the demo, unfortunately, but you can play with Window, the with Wine, you know, the Windows version. Then you have Company of Heroes, Titan Quest, Tomb Raider, Lost Planet, Longest Journey, you know, Hitman, Project Snowblind. And then what? Dawn of War, Command and Conquer, so Warhammer, 40,000. Bioshock, Civilization 4. So as you can see, there are many, many, many demos to try out. Europa Universalis, Empire Total War. So this is, these are great, by the way, to play, to try out with Gallium 9, if you have a AMD card or Intel integrated uh, graphic card fear 2 
Mountain Blade, Tomb Raider again. As you can see, there are really a lot of, lot, a lot of stuff to try out. And by the way, later I'm going to upload a video about how to use Simple Screen Recorder, okay? So that you can also try out and record stuff super easily and upload videos. Last Remnant, this works great with Galio 9. As you can see, tons, tons of demos, Man of War, Necrovision, and so, so on. Tropico. All right, that's it. So this for the demo. For the free-to-play games, you can just go here and browse free-to-play. And go also. I have to say that the store, I don't like the store. I mean, I didn't find a way to browse all the games. And with this new and trending top seller, you know, you always end up browsing in not the entire games, but just some, maybe this, just the top sellers. So I always select what's being played, which also has more games, 54 pages. Top sellers has six pages. New and trending has six. Coming soon has three pages. So it's it's not great. It's not a helpful story, you know. You can, some games are hidden, in my opinion. So here I want to browse all the time, all time most popular, and I'm going to go relevance or release date also if you want to to check out for DirectX 11. And here, by the way, as you can see, there are some not free to play games. So I want to just check for free to play. And then here we are, all the games. You can also remove the demo here by selecting games. So there are no demos, if you like. And here you have all the games. Here, for example, I tried out Einar, Unreal Engine 4. I tried out Argo, it doesn't run, which is Arma 3 uh, expansion, let's say. Standalone expansion. Warfare, this one. Actually, this one is DirectX 11 game. It's running, but with missing textures and so on. So here, really, you find a lot of stuff. And once you know what you want to install, all right, maybe, let me check. Actually, let me go back to demos. Yeah. Okay, let me check if there is something that I want to install here. Kane and Lynch, let me try out this one. Or oh, Mass Effect, you know, too. Let me try out this one with Galio 9. So I want to go here and I want to launch Steam. First, I want to launch without any option. Okay, so the wine prefix, wine, and then the path to the Steam uh, executable, steam.exe. I'm going to launch it. going to update and log in as you can see here you have like the news for example but there are the pages is black okay it's not gonna appear anything it's going to stay black forever if you go next all right, everything is black, it's not appearing. And also, by the way, if you go to the store, same story, you know, total black. It's going to stay black forever, okay? You can just wait as you want, but it's going to stay black. Here, as you can see, I'm downloading some demos already. Call of War, it's Order of War, Darkest of Days, Earth of Iron just completed. So right now I want to close. Okay, shut it down properly. Nice. Doesn't happen always. And then I want to launch Steam with this option. So I'm going to leave in the description. Okay. You can just add it as uh, you see here. I'm going to also add the silent option so that the store doesn't appear, but it stay like in the tray. You can just see the tray icon and then you can open the store from there, actually the client.
you don't need this to if you want to view the store just the first option it's enough as you can see steam is launched but it's staying the tray icon you know it doesn't show up so i'm gonna double click here it's going to open and right now i can go to the store as you can see the store it's running but there, there are no text there is no fonts as i say maybe with a, with a patch with something you can fix it but it's no big deal because I want to search for Mass Effect and uh, as you can see here there is the demo it has this green bar okay so I'm going to click here and actually you won't end up in the demo page okay but you won't end you will end up you you're going to end up in the Mass Effect 2 page and the demo it's going to be here it's going to be this icon here this section here okay this is the same if you go here you open okay as you can see it's download demo if there is not this button here just a single button without anything else it's always like that you know the height and the weight it's always like this so you can find it also here I'm going to click here and from here I can install the demo Okay, let me check something else. For example, Lost Horizon, or I maybe not. Kane and Lynch, something more action driven. German low, low violence version. Always low violence for Germany. As you can see here, download the demo, it's also there. So I'm going to type. Oop. Kane. Kane and Lynch. I can click here or click here. It's the same. Nah, yeah. By the way, you have to, to select the, the, the when you are born and born in like 100 years ago. So just go up all the way. And then, as you can see here, there is the section to download the demo. And I'm going to install also this. No idea why my cursor is changed like that. <laughs> Never happened before. No idea what's going on actually, but it's all right. And if you want actually a free to play game, say Dota, all right. You actually find out that this part, it's a little bit bigger, you know, because there is not like the price, like eight euro or 10 or whatever, but it's, it's written free to play. So it's actually bigger, this black part. Okay. So I already installed Dota actually. So let me check some other uh, free to play game like this one, Prime World, whatever. So Prime World, I'm going to click here. And as you can see, you this part it's like long. It's wi wider than normal. You know. If there were like a, a, if there was the price, it was just short as this one. But here it's written free to play. So it's it's bigger. And by the way, if you click, you will you will see if you end up installing the game or not. You know, if a window, if so, if a window like this is appearing, or you, something ends up in your, uh, in your, uh, if you want to buy it, you know, it's different. You'll definitely see it in your basket. If something ends up in your basket, you will see the you will see the difference. All right, then that's about it basically. As I said, some pages. You will have the demo page, like for example, Castlevania, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, for example, as you can see here, this is the demo page. And here you will have note 
the download demo section here but you have the installed demo as you can see there is no black part with the price or free or free to play so you just click here in the steam store and you will be, you are able to install the demo and as i said some some other games you end up in the not in the demo page but in the main game page and then you will find something here download demo that normally it's never there you know so you, you will recognize that all right that's it as you can see here and downloading a lot of stuff to try out and there are just plenty of demo to try out so if you have like a 10 games or 5 games library you know just a few games you are still able to try out hundreds of other games by playing a free to play or demo demos all right that's it hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next time guys everything will be in the description so you're able to try out uh, as soon as you see this video. All right, bye-bye.